Start by folding your fabric into four with the wrong side of your fabric on the outside. Go to one end of your fabric, mark out one inch and draw a straight line across. This is the shoulder line. From the shoulder line, measure your dress length. Mark and draw a straight line across. This is the hemline. Mine is 32 inches. On the shoulder line, mark out your shoulder length. Mine is 8 inches. From that 8 inch mark, mark your sleeve length. That is how long you want your sleeve to be. Mine is also 8 inches. From the shoulder line, mark out your shoulder to waist measurement and draw a straight line across. This is the waistline. Mine is 15 inches. From the waistline, mark out your waist to hip measurement and draw a straight line across. This is your hip line. Mine is 8 inches. From your shoulder line, mark out your shoulder to bust and draw a straight line across. This is your bust line. Mine is 8 inches. Now, divide your bust, waist and hip measurements by 4. Add 3 inches for ease. And now, mark on your bust line, your waist line and hip line respectively. Connect the hip to the waist and the bust. Go back to the sleeve length you marked on the shoulder line, go down by one and a half inches and join the new mark to your shoulder point. Measure out your new sleeve length together with your shoulder length. Go to your bust line and extend your bust line by this new total length. Now connect your new bust line extension to your waistline, curving smoothly, then draw a straight line connecting the sleeve at the shoulder line and bust line extension go to your shoulder line and measure three and a half inches round and connect this is the neckline this is my own measurement use the measurement that works best for you as this is a zipless dress make sure your measurement is just wide enough so that your head can pass through at your hemline, mark out this measurement. Your hip measurement divided by 4 minus 2 plus 3 inches for ease. Now connect this to your hip line. Now add 1 inch seam allowance along your hemline, side seams and sleeve hem. This is your sewing allowance. half inch seam allowance around the neckline and shoulder line now cut out cut out your facing a link to a tutorial where I show you how to cut out facing for a round neck is in the description box below please check it out You will now hem round the outer curve of your facing. You can also use your serger to finish off the raw edge of your facing if you prefer.
Your facing should look like this after hemming it. Now pin your facing to the main fabric with right side to right side and sew on a half inch seam allowance. After sewing the facing to the neckline of your fabric, make small cuts along the sewing allowance but don't go through the thread. Then you top stitch on the facing. Your top stitching should look like this. Now place your two fabric pieces right side to right side, sew the shoulder together with half inch seam allowance, then the side seams with one inch seam allowance. After sewing the shoulder and side seams, hem the sleeve hemline and hemline of the dress and you are done. This is the finished dress. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did and you try out this project, please use the hashtag the Veronica O so I can see your kimono dress. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.